Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a fun video for you guys. I wanted to try out some Guyanese fruits and share with you guys everything that I'm trying out. Growing up, sometimes I'd have to ask my mom, like, how do I eat this? Do I eat the skin? Do I not eat the skin? Do I cut it? Like, what do you do? I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to eat ginnips this time around. A lot of people call it different things, so if you call it by a different name and you know what it is, then call it by your name. But we call it, or I grew up calling it as ginnip. So this is what it looks like, and I'll show you guys how it is. So it's a little green ball type thing and how you eat this is you crack it with your tea you bite it not all the way just enough so the shell cracks like this and then you open it up like so and then it's like this little slimy ball and then you just you put it in your mouth and then you suck out all the little things like when you have it in your mouth you'll feel it like having something that you can like take off it's this little it tastes kind of slimy, but it's like sometimes you have sweet ginnip, sometimes you have a little bit of sour ginnip. So you kind of like scrape it off with your teeth. And at the end, it just comes into like a clean little ball. So this is a single. They also have twins. I'm going to share with you guys that next. Sometimes when you get a really big ginnip, the seed is actually split in two, which we call twins. So I'm going to see if this one is a twin. This one's actually pretty big, so I don't know. Is it? No, this is just one big ginnip. I never usually eat it with salt and pepper, but you can definitely dip it in a little bit of salt. I just have a little container of salt right here and eat this with salt as well. So yummy. So the next fruit that we have is a mango and my mom kindly peeled it for me. So this is actually the seed. This is a ripe mango. Normally you would eat green mango with salt and pepper. If you guys have not tried green mango with salt and pepper, just get the mango right before it turns ripe and soft and just get a nice green firm mango and cut it up like wedge sized pieces and dip it in some salt and pepper and I promise you guys will love it. But this is a ripe mango, so this one's actually really sweet and this is the seed, this is my favorite part. You get so much like meat on the mango that it just tastes really good. And you could dip the ripe mango in salt too, but mangoes aren't anything new to anybody so you'll be fine with this one. The only thing that sucks about eating the mango seed though is that it gets stuck in your teeth. So the next fruit that we have is a tangerine and Guyana tangerine is my absolute favorite. I love the way that it smells. It smells so much different than the ones that you have in New York. And you just peel it like this. I love eating this one with salt and pepper. That's my favorite. My dad used to do that for me when I was little. He would peel the tangerines and he would put it with some salt. It would be so yummy. This one is not as sweet as it normally is, but let's try it with some salt. Mmm, that's good. With this, I like to suck out all the juice. Some people like to eat the skin, right? Mm -hmm. Some people like to eat the skin, but I like to suck out all the juice. And then put that aside. So to summarize, all of the Guyanese fruits you can eat with salt and pepper. <laughs> So the next thing that we have is a sugar cane. Um, now this is a gigantic piece, I can't eat that. So we cut it into smaller pieces. So how you eat a sugar cane is you just bite on it and suck out all the juice. And then you throw the remains away. You just kind of like chew it up and get all the juice out. And then it's really how you cut it. Like you can have bite-sized pieces, you can have long strips, you can eat the cane big as it is. I don't think I could do this. So those are all the fruits that I have for today. This video is going to be me compiling all of the fruits that I try out throughout my trip. That way you guys are able to see it. So the next clip that you're going to see is probably going to be me in a different outfit on a different day. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far and stay tuned for the next one. Hey guys, so it's a brand new day and I have brand new fruits. I'm excited. I'm going to share with you guys three more fruits that I love. 
So this one is called a star apple um, or star apple as people call it here. I love this one. I like it because it's purple and it looks cute inside. So I'll show you guys. This is how I normally cut it and eat it. Looks like that. So you just cut it in half with a knife, put it down there. Or if you want to see something cool, you cut it the other way. So this is what it looks like. I normally cut it in half, but if you cut it across, you can see the actual star that's inside. So this does have seeds in it. They're little black seeds that look like this. If you take those out, you can see that they're really nice and starry. So to eat the starapple, what you do is you get a spoon after you cut it and you just kind of edge inside of it and get like right at the edge, leaving the skin off a little bit. So just like that. And there, it is sticky and it's really milky inside. So it's nice and milky. Mm. It's sweet. Just like that. And then you can eat it from inside. Like so. So that is the star apple. So the next fruit that we have is the golden apple, which looks like this. And you basically peel this with a knife and it ends up looking like this. And then you just chip it up into little pieces like this. And this you can eat with salt and pepper too. And this tastes so good. You want to be careful though because inside the actual seed, unlike the mango that we were talking about, this one has like the little prickly parts. So it's really like spiky inside. So at the end, this is what the little seed looks like. It's super duper spiky. The last thing that is my absolute favorite are cherries. These are not the typical New York cherries. These look like this. They look like the little Mary Mary peppers, but they're not. Um, if you bite this, inside has a bunch of little tiny seeds. So when you eat it, which I normally do with, again, salt and pepper, I dip it into the salt. So these are what the seeds look like. I'll do a close-up for you guys. So some of the cherries are sweet, some of them are a little bit tart, but for the most part, I eat everything with salt and pepper, so everything's a little bit sour for me. So those are all the fruits that I have for today. If I do find more, I will include them. So stay tuned for the next one. Hey guys, so I have more fruits for you all. I'm so excited. I have a bunch of different fruits today actually. A whole entire plate full of different fruits. The first fruit that we have is a five finger, which looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and share with you guys how it looks like on the inside. This is the five finger and if you cut it, it looks like this cute little star um i remember in school sometimes we would have this and we would dip it in paint and just like stamp so you just bite into it and eat it it's like sweet but then like you get that tangy soury taste afterwards it's good though i like this mm. super good so this one is a Suriname cashew, and this one doesn't have a seed in it. So I'm just gonna cut off the top part. So after I cut it, this is what it looks like. Um, and then you just bite into it. You don't even have to cut the top and the bottom. I just cut it because it's easier for me. But you could just eat it just like that. So this one's not bad, but I definitely prefer the Guyana cashews a lot better. The next fruit we have are downs, and this one is just green, and then you just bite into it. You know, like that. They're not very sweet or sour. They're kind of just there. And this comes with a little seed on the inside. Not bad. The seed looks like. So the next thing we have is the sugar apple and this one is new to me. I've never had this before actually until this trip right now. And apparently you just break it in half and that's what it looks like on the inside. And it's very sweet. 
and the whole inside is filled with seeds like so so i'm just gonna grab a little bit mm. they're very sweet and then you have the black seeds the next fruit is the whitey and i forgot how you eat this i don't remember if you bite it or you just kind of crack it but i cracked it and this is what it looks like on the inside this is what the whitey looks like i'm not sure if it goes by any other names mm. when you have it in your mouth it kind of tastes like fuzzy it's good while you have it in your mouth you kind of take the coating off of the seed so it's like a white coating over the seed so in your mouth you're gonna just take that coating off and it's nice and so the next fruit that i have is an awara and this one my friends is a family favorite we like to cut off the top like so cut the bottom a bit you're literally just sitting there with your teeth peeling it off and then you eat that the only thing with this fruit is that this gets super stuck in your teeth if you guys play with the war seeds give this video a thumbs up the next fruit is not only limited to guyana many different places have this but this is a guava and this is the guyana guava and this is what it looks like just eat the whole thing seeds and all this of course tastes like guava and last but not least we have a sapodilla and this one i love this one is super duper sweet this one i think could have ripened a little bit more but that's fine now people eat it with a spoon but you can just kind of go at it mm. So the next fruit is a gooseberry and this one is really good with salt and pepper. This is one of my favorites. Um, a lot of people make like gooseberry jam which is really really good um, but I like to eat it just like that. This one's very sour but it's so tasty. So this with salt and pepper is amazing and this does have a little tiny baby seed in it. So yeah, those are all the fruits that I have for you guys today. I think that is all the fruits that I have in general. I think I've tried every Guyana fruit there is in season right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to follow me and keep up with me, you guys go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page at Reese Babe and at Reese M U A if you want to follow my beauty posts. If you guys have a favorite fruit from Guyana or from your own country, let me know down below. And I will talk to you guys in another video. See you later.